Brain Zero here, and welcome back to the Liquid Crystal Fairy Sumo type. Anyways, uh, before I give the recap, it's this guy who will give you a magnet if you talk to him on Sundays. Anyway, last time I cleared Team Rocket out of Mahogany Town, I got my 7th gym badge. You'd think it's time to move on, right? Wrong. Team Rocket's making trouble in Goldenrod City, and since all the cops in Johto are either incompetent or on the take, it's once again up to a fucking kid to take down a Yakuza all by himself. If you're wondering what I was doing, there's another NPC that sometimes shows up over there when it's raining. I believe he gives you a free Thunder TM, actually. You can get this really early in the game. It's pretty broken. So, let's just run down here. Alright. Oh, I can go over here and get this. We love the berries. Good shit. You know... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it, he just gives you a Spiro. But, it's like, you know, dude... Team Rocket's in town! Aren't you gonna do something about it? Whatever. Once again, it's up to a damn kid to do all the work. Yeah, Team Rock has a bit more team variety than they do in the original Gen 2 or the remakes. Really? You're not going to react to being taken hostage? Okay. Yeah, all right. The stopping evil. Like, why would I? Who talks like that? I'm the closest thing this region has to a hero. I mean. The actual so-called heroes are fucking worthless. Explore. Yeah, not all the scientists here are with Team Rocket, but a couple of them are. Alright. Okay, fuck off. Hey, you can knock it off right now. Okay. That's why I kept the flutes. Believe it. Still no pickups. Let's switch over to you real quick. Uh huh, sure. Alright, now, switching over to Morgan here, because we got another executive fight, and he's basically just going to spam coffee and wheezing. And this would have been Petrol Disguise in the remakes. Hmm. Helpful. So now we gotta move on to the basement. Uh, actually, no, let's go heal first. Because we do have a rival battle coming up. Hey, 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 hey. There we go.
Then we go down here. And in here. Now we're gonna save right here. Mm hmm, sure. Nope. Oh, well, good, that did ya. You lost because your team composition sucks, and I'm just stronger than you are. Yeah, um, mild spoiler here, that epiphany doesn't stick. Not in this hack. You'll see what I'm talking about when we get to the Kanto arc. Alright, you know what? Roll out. Nice try. Now, I don't remember exactly how to open all these up. I want to battle all the trainers down here. And I also want to get all the items. Okay, um... Hang on. Okay, so there's that. Didn't help you, did it? Okay, I think I have to turn switch three back off. To open up the way. Nope. No, that didn't do it. Alright. One's gotta be off, I'm pretty sure. Huh. No, that's, that's not right. Yeah, something's not right. Nope. Give me a second. Okay, so it was a case of switch. There were multiple steps. Bear in mind, in the original, in gold and silver and crystal, all you had to do was press the switches in reverse order, and that opened it all up. So it's actually more complicated in the attack. Okay, sure, whatever. Max either. Oh, that's the grunt with the stupid laugh. Alright, fine, be that way. 
I'm not wasting any time with that. Okay. Sure, what, whatever. Yeah, you were. Like the trash you are. And it's TM for Sleep Talk. Situationally useful. And here is the actual president of the, uh... Well, the actual manager of the radio tower. And we show up in the basement of the Goldenrod City Department Store. Now, we can't get all the items down here at once. Um, on certain days, the different boxes are shifted around. And that's how you can get them all. It's stupid, but that's the breaks. Now that we're back topside, let's go back into the radio tower. So... Go back up to that floor that had a locked door. Which Pokemon do we want to have at the front of the party right now? We'll put you up front. We are. Mm -hmm. Our, uh, Lady Ari took care of it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, well, okay. If you think you can beat me, anyway. I mean, I appreciate your confidence, but it's a bit misplaced. You're useless, bitch! Fine. And now here's Ariana with a very different team than what you would expect. It's just a level 41 Onyx. Yeah, kind of anticlimactic. Hey, you call that fighting hard? Wow. Okay. Sure, whatever. Now we're gonna save, because Archer, the last executive, is a little tougher. Come on, give me a stat boost. Or not. Fine, be that way. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. Throw yourself in a dumpster like the trash you are. And we get a Soothe Bell. Makes Pokemon like you more. You can't actually go to the Tin Tower quite yet, last I checked. Oh, and there's the TM for Sleep Powder. Very, very useful. Because it's a lot more accurate than moves like Hypnosis. And this chick gives you a stick, which boosts the critical hit ratio for Farfetch, last I checked. Now we do make it to Ecrotique City, and this guy will let us through. And we try to go through, this asshole decides he's gonna block us. We'll be back here in a bit. And now we proceed east. Uh huh, sure, whatever. If you think so. Now, let's see, we'll go up here first, get these spear berries. 
What am I going to do about it? I'm going to kick your ass. So, go over here. Oh, and actually, when I came through here in a different monotype run, just not recorded, I managed to find a shiny Polawag. That ended up being on uh, one of my teams. Oh. I should have used Shadow Ball for that, but whatever. No, Future Sight sucks. Again, because it rains all the fucking time, what's the point of having Fire-type attacks? Now, ordinarily, this would probably be where you go the ice path, but there's actually something else you could do, too. Okay, I lied. We're actually going to the ice path, just not the part that you are thinking of. Because this hack adds another segment of the ice path down here. There's a whole bunch of hidden items down here, among other things. I don't quite remember how to get through this. Hmm. That's much easier than I thought. Okay. So down here, we got an iron. That's an escape rope. And over here is a sunstone. And here is a max potion. You go down here. There's a big mushroom, you can sell that. And over here is where Arcticuno would appear, if you place a blue flute on the pedestal, on the uh, outskirt I outskirts island. There's an irate Marowak here, which will not move until much later, but once it, is, once it is out of the way, it's actually a shortcut to Blackthorn City. So anyways, I'm gonna go back to Mahogany Town real quick. And now we can go back over here to the east. And look, it's Mr. OC Donut Steel again. So we're actually going to wrap up here, ladies and gentlemen. This has gone for long enough. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time.